We're going to need a knife to open up the box and we're also going to need a screwdriver. So we gently slit the box open. Like that. And you'll notice that the detector is packed well down, so it's safe away from the knife. We don't want to go too deep though. So the easiest way to do this is to turn the box over. Like that. And gently raise the box and the detector comes out. So in the box we've got the mounting template and we've also got the bracket. So we need to remove the foam. So we can take the foam off the detector quite easily. Put that back in the box. And we need to unpack the detector from the plastic. It's a good idea to take a bit of care with it, just in case you need to swap the detector over in case it's the wrong model. So remove the tape. Slide the unit out of the bag. And we're left with one VEP detector. Now the first thing is we're going to have to decide where our pipes are going to enter the detector. So these are our sample ports here. Generally if we're using two pipes, we'll use the two central pipes, pipes two and three. So with a flat screwdriver, I can come underneath the sample port and remove that. We may be putting a cable entry into here for an electrical. So we can remove one of those. Which is allowed to cable into here, but we also have underneath the detector cable entry ports here and here as well, if we need to use them. And this you'll find the exhaust port is taped up. We need to remove the tape from the exhaust port. Okay, so once we've done that. We've got our detector ready to install on the wall.